So in this lecture, we're going to begin our synthesis reaction. So our goal will be to begin with the following starting material and produce the following four different products. So we want to produce product A from that, product B, product C, and product D. Now we're not going to worry too much with the mechanism in this lecture. We'll just worry about the reagents that we need to add in order to take us from our starting material to our product. So let's begin with our uh, product A. So we want to begin with the starting material, this asymmetrical alkene, and form the following product A. So let's examine product A. What is product A? Well, product A is an alcohol. And not only is it an alcohol, it's the more substituted alcohol. This looks like Markovnikov's product. And so that means a simple hydration reaction with a trace amount of catalyst will do. And so what we will have to do to produce this product is simply add a catalytic amount of hydronium and then water. So in the first step, this will act as an acid donating that H atom on this side of our carbon producing the more stable tertiary carbocation. The second step is our hydration step. The lone pair of electrons acts and attacks this carbocation. And the final step is deprotonation of the water forming our hydroxide, our OH group, as well as regenerating our um, molecule, our hydronium catalyst. So we produce as the end result the following molecule that we were seeking. So this is all we need to do, a small amount of catalyst and our solvent water molecule. So now we want to go from our starting material to product B. Notice this is also um, an alcohol, but now we don't have the more substitute alcohol, we have the less substituted. And that means this will be anti-Markovnikov's substrate, anti-Markovnikov's product. So that means we can't use a simple straightforward hydration, but we have to use hydroboration. Remember, hydroboration allows us to produce the following anti-Markovnikov product. So, our first step is to simply use the following reagent. So we want to use our BH3. What the BH3 allows us to do is to produce the BR3. And then after we produce the BR3, we simply mix in uh, hydrogen peroxide and we mix in our OH molecule, our hydroxide base. So what happens here is this reaction reacts or this reactant reacts three times with this BR so we produce our BR3 where R is simply our alkyl group and then the BR3 reacts three times with this hydrogen peroxide to produce our BOR3 and then finally in the in the final step three of these OH molecules react to produce our final product which is given here. So the end result is the following anti-Markovnikov product. Now, if you want to learn more about this hydroboration reaction and the mechanism behind it, check out one of my lectures where I discuss the mechanism of hydroboration in more detail. Once again, in this lecture, we're going to focus more on what reagents we have to use in order to create our product. We're not going to focus too much on the actual mechanism because the mechanisms for hydration and hydroboration I discuss in a different lecture. So, now let's produce our product C. So let's examine what the product C is. Well, notice this is very similar to this A, except this group has been replaced with an iodide. So how about we first form our product A, and then we add uh, HI molecule that will hopefully produce this molecule. Will that work? Well, let's see. If in the first step we follow the first reaction, we add our trace amount of our hydronium and the H2O molecule to produce our molecule from our reaction A, we produce the following 
more substituted alcohol and now if we add an HI acid what happens is the H protonates the oxygen making a better leaving group and then via an SN1 reaction this is displaced and iodide attacks the carbocation. So we, have, we essentially have a two-step mechanism here that will lead us to the, what we want, to the following product. Now, in the same way that we examined C and compared it to A, let's examine D and compare it to B. Notice we want our iodide to be attached to this carbon, which is also the same carbon that this hydroxide in part B is attached. So how about we follow mechanism B, reagents B, and at the end we simply add our HI. So in the same way that we follow this mechanism from A, for D we're going to follow the mechanism from B. So once again in our first step we add our BH3. In the second step we add our H2O2 and our OH. And finally we add our HI. And after that, we should get the following molecule. So here we produce four of our different products. So once again, I don't really worry about the mechanism here because that's not the goal. Our goal is to synthesize these four products from our starting material. Now, if you're not sure about the mechanisms for either hydration, addition reaction, uh, hydrohalogenation, or hydroboration, please review one of my lectures from before. Now if you have questions, please leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible.